Hey guys, this is your weekly forecast for the 25th of November 2019 for all the signs. If you would like a private reading with me or hypnosis to facilitate permanent change, do use the link below. So this week it looks like you are working diligently, you are working hard on your reputation, trying to get a uh, mortgage, trying to get a raise, uh, working on your passive income. Um, where you're going to put that money and you're taking action on that now. So some of you might have um, got this company or working on something that can provide you with a passive income and so you're working on that right now, putting action in that, putting time in that and you're building a reputation for that and perhaps earning more money. This is asking your boss for a raise, so working really hard so that you can um, ask um, if there has been a job put up and you're working hard towards that. That is what you going to be doing today now some of you if this is to do with something you're going to put on display so I've been working on a project I am creative perhaps I'm an artist uh, be working on a book I've been working on something and I'm about ready to uh, display that I'm about to show what I've been working so hard on uh, to the public so I can earn more income or to you know get a raise get acknowledgement now this is the funds that you receive from everybody else to you this is mutual resources residual resources funds from your employer, funds from your partner. This is also about our taxes and things like that. So you're putting a um, system into place uh, so that you're able to uh, get on top of that. And lastly, if this is about a, a divorce, uh, if this is about child support or anything like that, or even money that we rely on from government or anything else like that, we are working on that. We are reassessing our home um, and how we pay our bills, how we can save money, and we're putting our intention into that. At home, we have the seven of wands. Now, this has got something to do with... Um, you know, there's some willful behavior here. There's some challenging behavior here. We are holding that negativity at bay. So, you know, if this is outside coming in, there could be an enemy, there could be other family, uh, flatmates, whatever it is, trying to uh, cause trouble inside the home. Or if this is inside the home, look, there's someone here who's acting out. Uh, it could be your partner. Uh, this is about trying to keep that commitment or unsurety around that. And we have the uh, Three of Pentacles uh, for our love. Now, this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and this is Aries, Sagittarius, and uh, Leo. So these two together, it looks like if we are having difficulties, if the idea of commitment is there, uh, where there's a question on that, we are looking at an expert or someone that we can go and talk to, whether this be a religious leader, whether this be an uh, older, wiser person in, within your family, or whether this is a counselor of some sort. We're uh, talking to them about our relationship to try and keep things uh, moving forward and to get over whatever it is that's coming in between our relationship. Now, this can also, you know, us as a, a couple, other people trying to, to uh, come in and, and cause some strife there because this person is holding that at bay. There's all these swords, I mean, all these wands coming in, directing um, negative energy, uh, anger, whatever. And this one's trying to hold that back. So if this is about your love relationship, then, you know, this is other people uh, directing hate towards me and my partner. So, you know, we're going to talk to someone about it. We're going to talk to each other about it. We're going to put some money into our relationship uh, so that we can get over, um, you know, whatever's coming up. In your health, we do have the Knight of uh, Pentacles. Again, this is a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now, this person is taking a pause uh, midway through their treatment, um, whatever it is to do with their health. Now, this uh, can go right up until December the 9th, or this is something that is reoccurring. Now, this is about, um, for some of you, this is about fear. We cannot move forward because we're paused. We're waiting on the results. And I don't know if these results are going to be something really scary or if there's going to be no results because this has been going on for a while or even if this is going to turn out to be okay there is um a complete pause here so so that we cannot continue uh, until we know more now also for some of you this is on our path with our health we've had to put it on pause for whatever reason you know maybe we are um, unable to walk because we've got the flu so we have to put that on hold maybe we've run out of funding maybe we have to wait 12 weeks six weeks uh, before we can continue with what it is that we are doing um, because of, of some sort of delay now lastly this is about looking out 
to other uh, cultures, other treatments, and perhaps seeing, you know, if that could help in the interim before we move forward. And again, we're going over our um, our loves, three of pentacles. There is some success here. There is, uh, so some of you might be preparing to get engaged or to get uh, married or, um, you know, the next leg of your couple journey. And so you're talking, you're putting money into that, getting yourself ready for that. Now, your adoring virtue messages from the angels. We have a loved one that has passed who is helping you at the moment while you make a decision. And this decision is about our future. And it's it's a decision where you need to put your needs before somebody else's needs. But there is compassion here. So a decision that I need to make, I'm going to have my loved one here with this difficult time to make this decision. Now this decision is about our foundations and we have Zaina here saying that our home is safe. So our family is safe. Those that we love are safe. There's um, the heart chakra here just rippling out over the doorstep to do with our home, our family, our roots. Um, and so the decision that you're going to make uh, in regards to whatever it is, your uh, health, your finances, your partner, your family, this decision, um, is, is it is about you and it's about what way makes me um, closer to what it is that I want. So again, if we're talking about a uh, commitment issue here, do I stay, do I go, do they want to stay, do they want to go, you know, is this something that needs to be addressed, like I said, with a professional or is this something that we uh, have been going back and forth with, back and forth with? And so we are, you know, we're going to have to go through this in a logical, reasonable way and see what our future looks like. If this is about us as a commitment towards each other and other people trying to tear us apart, again, we're going to have to have that conversation and again, perhaps with a professional. And lastly, uh, you know, some of you might be deciding whatever it is that you're receiving from from other people. This person has all these things on display. So they have been working hard. They have been saving. They are building a reputation. They are nearly there. So for some of you, this might be, <clears throat> look, if this goes really well, I'll be able to stand on my own two feet financially and I will not need to rely on others. If this is about a financial backer, it looks like the results are going to be good. That reputation of yours is is not worth because you, your um, your self worth is not directed by how other people um, you know judge, but you're worth backing now. You're a, a sure thing. So if that's what you're working on, so be kind to you and those you love. And from Jedi side, Jake, may the force be with you.